That's not bad. This is not final packaging, by the way. This is just sample packaging. But I have a few different colors. This is the first edition, which I don't think, I think um, Omnitype said this edition's like up in the air still. So we're probably gonna not do this one here. But I was thinking between these two, I took out the um, some stuff from these, but I'm thinking either the Atomic, which is like that perf the, the perfect purple that matches with, uh, you know, the game, was it the GameCube or N64 purple kind of thing, the Nintendo purple, or we got a Ghost, which is like a, uh, I think everyone's gonna pick Atomic. Atomic or Ghost? Ghost is like a gray. They're both see-through though. Atomic sounds hella nice. All right, what's cool about this too, guys? Um, I, I've seen the final packaging, but uh, I'll just leave this kind of like up in the air for right now. The final packaging is really nice. Even this packaging is kind of nice. What's cool about this box though, I don't know if the box is gonna retain this, is it has that bower lip on the bottom. So kind of kind of neat. Yeah, the ghost is like, it is clear. I feel, I feel like it has a, a hint of gray in it, but this is the purple here. This is awesome. This literally brings back memories. Can we see them both? Yeah, I can see them both. That's a good purple, very Game Boy, exactly. I wanna see GMK DMG on this. I actually don't have that set. How do they compare to the CNC polycarbonate ones? I mean, this is injection molded. So injection molding is always gonna have some, I'd say vanity, vanity, minor vanity blemishes and flaws as always. Actually, maybe this does lean towards more of like a clear. I don't know. I feel like it does have a hint, a hint of gray, but I think that's just probably the material. I call it gray. Anyways, this, that's just the way I perceive it. This is cool too. I kind of like the purple one more. I don't know if you guys want to go with purple. We have different tops that he sent as well. We can play around. We could be, we could live on the dangerous side of things and go atomic and put dual shot on it. All right, let's see. So again, packaging all could potentially change, guys. But uh, I don't know. Packaging seems really simple and nice. I kind of like the way it is right now, to be honest. Uh, any idea what the price might be? Um, Omnitype, what's the price gonna be? How much would this be? I think that's the, the better question. That's Ghost. If you guys wanna see from this side. They're both kind of cool. We have our plates, we have hot sup standoffs, which I think I've ever, ever used only once ever in my keyboard building career. Nice Wilba Tech PCB. We're not skimping out on the PCB, let's go. I would suggest standoffs just to help with the plate. Those sample plates are a little bit wonky. Okay. It's been a long time since I've installed standoffs. We'll do it. Little uh, Wilba Tech, Wilba Tech plate, which is the Bauer light plate. So what's the price gonna be then? I think uh, we have enough guesses. Uh, there will be a weight option in the future as an add-on, not at launch though. That's good to know. That's also very good to note too. It's like there's other stuff in here, but it's not coming out. We have our gaskets. So um, I did talk to Omnitype about like, damn dude, 119 is the price. 119.99. 120, that's not bad. Nice price. That's not bad at all. I think that's pretty in line for like, that's that's competitive, I'd say. Tiger light prices, yeah. You get a good PCB with that. Jesus Christ, that's a low barrier to entry. Yeah, that's very good. I said it from the beginning, my goal was to give everyone the best quality keyboard experience for the least amount of money. Can we get some some claps for Omnitype? Some claps, dude, that's huge. Just to like let you guys know too, actually there was some foam in the kit too, but it's only in one of my kits because these are prototypes. Just so you guys see, there is some foam. I think we're not gonna build it with foam today. Um, it's, Gar Garrett was basically saying that he added the foam for people who wanted a more foamy sound signature or for people who didn't necessarily like want to lube switches or not confident in lubing switches, stuff like that. Okay, Garrett was very adamant that I showed this off on stream. <laughs> he said he put a lot of work into this, all right? Omnitype basically said, please show this on stream. This is a very detailed, large, pretty thick build book. It's it's a it's an all about building book. I've built a lot of Bowers already, so I kind of understand how to do this. There is one new part to this Bower light, 
It's a noob book. I think I spent more time building the build guide than the board. <laughs> Let's appreciate it. Look at this. It's in color too, Christ's sake. That's pretty wild, dude. There's actually a lot of good information in here. How to install your switches. Wow. Donut bumpers. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty impressive. I low-key wish I realized how thick this was so I could have read this all before screen. I thought this was only a few pages for some weird reason in my head. Wow, that's pretty good. Pretty nice for an entry-level board. And then the other thing that um, Omnitype mentioned that's not in this is gonna be a pair of tweezers. So that's not here, but imagine a pair of tweezers. Uh, these are the new donut bumpers for the top. So it doesn't have normal gaskets. It has like some donut. I think these are the bumpers or these screws. These are the bumpers. So these are gonna be the only new part. I'll show you guys a little bit more of the board here. This is gonna be fun to take pictures of. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be super sweet to take pics. Now guys, this is a prototype. If there's some weird oddities with it or just some like scuffage, we're gonna ignore some of it. Um, so pretty cool. Oh, are the gaskets already installed in this one here, Garrett? Do the gaskets come pre-installed like this or uh, did you do this? I can't wait to see the other colors. I can show you guys. I don't know if this is gonna be the whole case, but I define entry level as something that's that's under, okay, here. I personally define entry level keyboards in this hobby as something that's not above retail of major brands. Because I feel like it's, you know, if you were gonna spend 200 bucks on a Steel Series or whatever is popular right now, um, to me, like that's in line of entry level to buy a keyboard. Or yeah, a high-end board that's not gonna be as expensive. Would you consider the Zoom entry? I personally do, but there are people who like, because there's add-ons, people get all fing huffy and puffy about it. Bauer 2 is still one of my favorite boards. To me, it's a very unique sounding. Yeah, I think the Bauer was very unique sounding too. Uh, this is a nice smoked color. I think this, this red is kind of cool. This red is super neat. I like this red a lot. Uh, mix and match. We could today, but I low key wanna. I don't know. I'm very like. I like my. I like my solid colors. You guys know how I am with that. Where I put my bowl of switches? Oh, here it is. It is. Hey, switches. I see. Yeah. So the reason I wanted to go with these is because I know I like them. So I'm already a fan of these switches. So I decided to. I have a feeling these are a good pairing as well. So this is hot swap, but any regular backspace and step caps. There will be a regular backspace Omni type said, but perhaps no step caps. We might be limited on that. All right, so now let's put the daughter board in. The board is just beautiful like you. Come on, bro, don't make me blush. Don't make me blush right now, dude. What springs do you use when you spring swap? I tend to go with 55 gram springs, but um, everyone's gonna be a little different, right? Everyone's gonna be a little different for what springs they prefer. I do wish these screws were magnetic though. Has there been anything said about the so having a solderable PCB? I if he did say something about that, I must have missed it. We can't make the change now for step caps um, for the first release of everything. Oh, you guys can read that. How much is this again? It is 119 according to Omnitype. That is the current price of this being being said. 119 USD. So I'm assuming this is where the weight would go down the road. This little cutout over here. Unlimited purchase. It'll be in stock according to Omnitype as well. There will be a weight option. Apparently in the future, there's gonna be a weight option. Ooh, okay, so one little change that he did too, which I need to just grab another one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just grab the other one here. I need to show you guys this. Okay, because this doesn't have the gaskets already in. All right, this was important to me because the original Bauer didn't have this, but see how the weight, the uh, place where you put the uh, things are slotted? There is slotted gasket things now. And I like what Omnitype did here too. There's no weird hanging, you can see over here, there's no weird hanging gasket. Kind of nice, about time. I've seen boards with that. It's like a little extra effort for me that goes a long way. So now we have our next piece of the puzzle. All right, so we're putting in these. 
Sorry for the sirens in the back. These are like the little bumpers that go on the top. Kind of reminds me of those bowl gaskets, slightly, but not really, because they're not weirdly flexible and hard to put in. I think there's like a specific way you gotta put these in too. There's like a little tab on these that it makes sure that slot in nice too. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. I'm just kind of like, I could refer to the manual, but there's like a little tab, sort of, and it aligns with a tab on the back here. So you just gotta make sure these are lined up properly. Again, I like non-adhesive gaskets. So this is a welcomed addition to any keyboard. So this is also kind of neat too. There's uh, no gasket points on the top for the space bar, which is kind of neat. Interesting to see how that's gonna affect the sound. All right, we got the taco bumpers. So it doesn't stray too far away from what this board kind of like builds like from the original Bauer too, which is kind of fun. Uh, we prototype stainless steel weights so the color would be neutral and to not clash with any colors. So brass wasn't an option, but stainless steel is very expensive. So I'm testing lead. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's still pretty cool. Oh, I appreciate that. We got the little taco bumpers. Which we're gonna stick on here. So I guess I'm having a bit of an issue with this. Do we put this, do I put these two in wrong? Why are these ones here slipping out? Uh, time for the tire weights. I guess I should go from the top down. Probably the easier route to do. How, uh, it, by the way, tofu types. Thank you so much for the tier one, dude. Thank you, thank you. All right, cool. This is basically the assembly here. We're not using any foam initially, guys. If uh, we need to, we can grab foam later. That was fast. It's a pretty simple build. Let me actually see. Let's refer to the guide. Um, ba, 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 we did that. All the screws in the whole board are the same to make it easy. Oh, okay. So it's literally the same screws then. That makes sense. So yeah, I was supposed to install it from the top down like that. So we did that. Flip over from the bottom. Installing the bottom housing. Insert the tabs on the front edge. I think I did that. Uh, the lower back side of the bottom until it's fully flush. I like this little build guy, he's cute. All right, and then we'll put the everything else on. I think everything's already installed for us here. Man, this is such a really nice build guy. It is. Sorry guys, I'm just being thorough about this because I want to make sure I do it right. All right, should be good. This will make such an awesome gift. Oh yeah, true, That this would be a nice little gift keyboard too. I think the magnetic screws are probably like my only big point of criticism right now. I would like to see a magnetic screw. Okay, I think the longest part of this build might have just been putting in these back screws. I think they just need to be a sh sh small bit longer so they don't kind of... Ooh, this is pretty looking. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, this is kind of cute. Okay, so far my criticism is this. I think the back screws, the four back screws, the only thing I think needs to be like, just looked into just a small little bit, just a smidge, a little bit longer so they don't kind of like, as they come down, they don't wobble sideways and they get stuck like it was happening for mine. Maybe that was it. Alex with the blip, uh, total concentration has been activated. Is this light? It's very light, not a lot of weight to this. Very pretty though. Let's see, what does this look like from the top? Very pretty. I like it. Fully built, this is kind of cute. Uh, no, it's light. What's the price range gonna be? It's gonna be 120, 120. Uh, what keycap set? Should I actually put dual shot? This might be really nice. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna spoil anything yet. Everyone chill. Uh, gray on purple kind of slaps. I think it will. Okay. I kind of like this with this set. Just saying. I think this looks pretty good. Just saying. I'm not gonna lie, these feet, a little slippery. Maybe because it's just, uh, maybe, maybe the prototype material needs to be looked into again. Maybe because it's so light. I think uh, that's my other little criticism is maybe a grippier kind of foot texture. Maybe that's it. Will it slide when you type? Probably not. There's a side profile if you guys want to take a look. 
Jotting that down, yeah, it's a little slippery. I definitely would make that a little bit more grippy. So my only two complaints so far, everything else, very simple, very easy to build. A little bit of a longer screw for the back here so it doesn't get caught in these wells on sideways when you drop it in, and then a grippier foot. That's a cool side profile, actually. It's, it's very basic in its shape, but there's that little bower lip. Cool, very cool, very pretty. There's a little, little thing there from the injection molding. I'm not sure if those will be on the final units, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that's just a prototype thing. Oh, I don't know why it's not focusing on that front lip. Yeah, seeing the interior is cool. Mine says, I might think mine says not for, not for sale on it, but it's kind of cool. I like it. You can see everything. Very pretty. The, the best I could do. Okay. Still not a ba bad thing to have. Are you guys ready to see what it sounds like? I like the vibe of this though, man. This looks sick. Uh Oh, she's gorgeous already. It's going to be 119. If people are wondering. 119. I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's see what the alphas sound like a little bit. HJ test. These are linears. Hello? That's not bad. This is no foam. It's kind of surprising, no foam. You guys think the space bar sounds a little bit dead? Hold on, let me let me see about the space sounds bar. Like a keyboard. I actually don't mind the space bar in this. Definitely deeper. That is a long pull. Actually, technically it is a long pull on the space bar, but we could try a few other things. I, I don't know, dude, this sounds... Mind this. I don't think the space bar, I don't think every space bar needs to sound like this, guys. That's really good for 120 bucks. That's really good. Clean alphas really does look, uh, really does sound good as fuck. No kidding, I love that space bar. Yeah, it's all gonna be personal preference at the end of the day. I kind of think it's nice. That's crazy sound to me. I, I don't know, I kind of vibe with this already. It's very deep. Okay, I have my PVT spacebar ready to go here because how many people are gonna ask this? It kind of sounds the same to me. This sounds exactly the same. I, it sounds identical. This set sounds a little bit That sounds very deep. So this was the Hammerworks CR, uh, the Hammerworks um, space bar. Damn, that kind of sounds insane with the the PBT. Damn, is this a board where PBT shines? Okay, it's a different manufacturer, I believe. This is who makes retro light again. I'm just looking at some uh, some different ones. Is it Milky Way? So this is Milky Way then. This one sounds a little thinner now. I think this is my least favorite of the space bars. 
this particular one. I think ABS sounded good. I was completely happy with ABS. I was completely happy with the Novel Keys PBT. Okay, so this is a KTT grapefruit, I believe. All right, let's see what this is gonna sound like. I think this sounds pretty close to the haze switch. A little brighter, maybe? Uh, let's try the Nixie. This should have like that signature kind of cherry. Oh, what did I do here? Did I? Ooh, the Nixie's kind of different. The Nixie's nice. I think the Nixie's my favorite so far. And then let's try, let's try this guy here, the camping life switch. Why does it sound soggy? It's just deep. The Nixie is probably my favorite out of all of them though. Nixie's the best? Yeah, I'm gonna swap back to the Nixie. I'm very happy with the way the Nixie sounded. So this is a $119 kit. Minus, like you have to add, sorry, I have to add switches and add keycaps, but. You know, a small part of me still likes the deeper spacebar because it's different. I like maybe this one here a little bit too much too. Uh, I turned out some info about uh, this will be easier for you to read. Uh, oh, about the variations and stuff. Yeah, I can take a look at that. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about the, the keyboard? Ooh, with no desk pad, it sounds good too. Giga value? I mean, it's a really, I think it's a really good price. Uh, how do you feel this compares to something like the Tiger 80 Lite? The Tiger 80 Lite, I feel like you need it to have foam or else it doesn't work, if I recall correctly. Uh, it's very deep for non-foamed keyboard, yes. I'm just glad I didn't take this long after people paid. I mean, that's that's the other great thing about it too, right? Reminds me of a Game Boy Color Purple. Yeah, there's gonna be a few different colors. I think Garrett put colors in a Slack channel we're in. One second, let me find out. So there's gonna be a gray, clear, purple, a sea foam, which is that, that green one we, we showed you guys in red. The internal weight's probably gonna improve the sound. You know what's funny about that, Bruno? Is I don't, it might make it sound a bit brighter. That's about it. It just sound, uh, it's just like every other budget point at this point, honestly. So I don't disagree with that. I do think though, variety is the spice of life when it comes to these kind of things. So if you were looking for a budget board and didn't like any of the other budget boards or you know entry level, I don't like using the word budget. I think that's unfair because everyone's budget's a little bit different. At the end of the day, this is something, another option that you get to pick, right? It doesn't mean you need to buy it. That's the other thing, right? You don't need to pick something up. No one needs to buy it. But I think that if you have, if you were looking for something, I think this would be a, a good little alternative. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what I feel personally. Power blockers on a budget board is awesome. Yeah, there's that too, right? Again, I don't think this is gonna be replacing anybody's like Envoy or, you know, anyone's like Sonnet or anyone's key cult or whatever, like whatever, but I'm just making board names up right now. But like, I don't think it's to replace anything. I think it's a great entry level board. Completely great. Is there gonna be an Alu version? I think it's a great way to introduce homies to the keyboard community at affordable price. Yeah, I, I personally think out of all these like plastic entry level boards, this is definitely up there in terms of what I think is a good one sound wise and feel wise too. Like it's a nice, nice feeling board. It's not overly stiff. For a hundred dollars, it can't be beat. Yeah. The more options, the better. That's kind of where I'm at with this too. That's that's my standpoint. The more options you have, the better. Options and competition when it comes to this stuff are great. The fact that this is priced, I think, very fairly at 119, uh, where you get you know a good quality PCB from Wilba and all that stuff is is fantastic as well. Yeah, no corners were cut in the development. We set out to create a board that provides a high quality experience at a low end price. We're very proud of the final product. I think the product turned out great. I do. Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Bye bye. This is no foam.